Well, last night my immediate reaction was that this was a mindless and reckless act and I certainly haven't changed my view. These were officers who were involved in an ongoing operation uh, dealing with serious crime in the area and were subject to a very serious and significant attack uh, of gunfire. Uh, you've seen yourself the results of that in terms of the rounds that hit uh, the police vehicle. Thankfully they escaped uh, uninjured but clearly were very shaken last night and I met them personally last night. It certainly was, and there's absolutely no question in my mind, were it not for their protective capacity in terms of the vehicle that the officers were in, we would have been looking at fatalities. Um, an absolute tragedy, this would have been in the mouth of Christmas. Not something we want to see in Belfast City. We also have said many times we thought that was resigned to history. It's clearly not in the minds of a small minority, and we need the support, the ongoing support of the community to try and bring these people to justice. It's very clear is that it was significant weaponry to bring into what is a very residential area. Um, lots of housing, people trying to go about their normal business, lots of people preparing for Christmas. Um, anything could have happened, not just police officers injured or killed, but children walking about the street had a round gone through a window. Anything could have happened. This was totally reckless. We, we are following a line of inquiry about a black BMW 3 Series, which we believe may have been the vehicle used as a getaway. Um, that may have been in the area of Tullock Park and was later uh, uh, recovered, um, an, an ongoing operation to, to recover it evidentially in Clue Moor uh, area of West Belfast. The registration of that vehicle was 05 C for Charlie 24774. We believe those are false plates and the vehicle may have been stolen. If there, anybody saw that vehicle moving about the area or seen persons getting in or out of that vehicle, we're very keen to speak to them and they can contact police on 101 or use Crime Stopper 0800 555 one. We won't be deterred in any way, shape or form delivering a policing service to all the communities of Northern Ireland. There is increasing confidence in the police service of Northern Ireland. We will do all that we can to work with communities to remove this sort of thing once and for all from the streets.